Much indeed, Paul. Yeah, brand new British middleweight champion, Felix. Great finish. What's going through your mind in, at the start of that third round, once you'd hurt him, once you'd caught him, once you'd stunned him on the ropes? Well, well, I stunned him in the first round, and I knew it was only a matter of time before I caught him again. You know, I, I, I caught him, and then Tony, Tony, like, after the first round, he was like, you're washing your walk a bit, you're like, loading up a bit, trying to relax a bit, the shot would come. And um, I started relaxing more the fight was going in, I was relaxing, and I was walking through him, really, you know what I mean? I could just walk through him. And, um, and I caught him, and I caught him, I see him go, and I just finished the job. Was it an easier night than you expected? I know you were confident you'd win, you'd confident you'd stop him, but was it an easier night? In, now you're looking back on it, was it an easier night? He won as awkward as I thought he was going to be. He won as awkward. I thought when I looked at my video, it looked quite awkward. He looked awkward. I thought it might take me maybe six, seven rounds to break him down. When I got in there, he was, I could hit him. I was hitting him, and they, I just, after that, then I was just walked through. Tom, what about you, Tom? Because we know he's awkward, Bentley. We're not quite sure what he's got because he's, there's not a lot of form, not a lot of grey. Was it easier than you expected? Well, Denzel's a good fighter. He's only a young kid as well, he's yeah. 25. Uh, what you've got to realise is uh, Felix Cash has had a, you know, a big pedigree as an amateur. He's fought all around the world, won gold medals in tournaments, been in with the Olympic champion. So he's got a massive pedigree, do you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, he's, he's got a lot of experience of sparring good fighters in my gym, obviously. He's been, he's been in, training with Craig, hasn't he? It, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. been sparring with Craig, but I've had him in America sparring in, in uh, Los Angeles, in the Garcia gym. So, you know, he's got a lot of experience and, uh, you know, he showed how explosive he is with his punching power and uh, he's a quality kid. What would you want now, Felix, in an ideal world? If Eddie, if Eddie was standing there, what would you want? What, what, what are you asking? What are you begging for now? You've got the two belts. You've had a great win tonight I, 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 in a 50-50. What do you want now? I want now? the third now. I want to get the European, and then we'll move on to what's next. But there's a lot of big names out there. You've got Chris Eubank Jr., you've got Liam Williams, you've got a few of us. So we'll sit, we'll sit down with the team and see what's next. But, like I say, I'd like to get the European next. Was that your statement tonight? Because, because going into the fight, people were looking at some of your wins, look at some of his wins, looking at your previous amateur pedigree and going like that. Suddenly, you've got in there with a man that most people thought it'd be 50-50 and you've wiped him away in three rounds. Was that your statement tonight? Yeah, it was a bit of a statement. I think it was a bit of a statement. You know, at the end of the day, that 14 fights, stop, um, stop for, um, 12 of them, you know, it was meant to be a bit of a puncher. And, you know, he had a good win last time out against Efron and looked good doing it. And Efron, you know, he's no mug. So it was a decent fight. But I was just, like I said, I was a level above him before the fight and I showed it in the ring. Congratulations. Thanks, Tony. Thank you.